Okay, geometry, 6-3, rectangles. Rectangles very similar to parallelograms, the previous sections. Um, just a couple of differences. Uh, the only two differences between a rectangle and a parallelogram are, okay, and let me write these up here. We've got, we've got two differences. Okay, that one difference is that all four angles are 90 degrees. Okay, so they're all right angles. No, my little degree sign there. Okay, all four angles are 90 degrees. And one difference about the diagonals is in a rectangle, the diagonals are congruent. Okay, so two main differences between parallelograms and rectangles. And so we'll keep all of the same traits from before, but we'll go ahead and try to um, try to, to create uh, some separate shapes with these two laws. Again, all four angles are 90 degrees and diagonals are congruent. So let's look at some examples. Okay, if you are given that JKLM is a rectangle, okay, and I will go ahead and state that J K L M is a rectangle. And you're given KJL, okay, KJL, which is right here, is 2x plus 4, and JLK which is right here is 7x plus 5 then I want you to find x okay so work this one on your own and I'll be right back okay hopefully you had hit pause because by the powers of technology I am right back with you and you're probably thinking if you didn't hit pause you didn't have any time so do that at this time if you did hit pause and you're back with a solution let's work through it and let's find out if you did correct now, I'm going to look at triangle J, L, K, because that's the triangle that contains all of those angles. I know that the whole total has to be 180 degrees, but I also know because this is a rectangle that this is 90 degrees. So I'm going to eliminate that from the equation, and I'm going to add 2x plus 4 and 7x plus 5 and that's going to equal the remainder of the 180 degrees which is going to be 90. Okay, Again those two angles added together will have to equal 90 because angle K is 90 and 90 plus 90 is going to give me 180 degrees. So that's going to give me 9x plus 9 equals 90. Subtract 9 from both sides 9x equals 81, giving me an x value of 9. Okay, so using just different laws. Um, also in the work tomorrow we'll probably be using some uh, distance formula, so we'll have to recall the distance formula, and some different things, but we'll work on those in class. So this is a pretty short one because parallelograms and rectangles are very, very similar. So you shouldn't have any uh, trouble just adding a couple of new thoughts to that. So about four and a half minutes, that is chapter six, section four, rectangles.